friends, this is the view out of my bunker window. Is my and of course this is my axe bag from Vinny. How you doing Vincent? Love you buddy. Vincent is the fella who always helps us out when we're on trips over in Vancouver friends and he, and he comes and he helps us out with a ride from the ferry to the plane or whatever. Vincent we love you buddy on the channel you're a good man thanks again. So friends I've actually got the camera turned around right now I can't see myself so I'm just actually, I'm trying to, I want to show you what I found at the freaking market this morning. I go over every Sunday at about 7, 6.30, 7 o'clock where they're setting up, friends. <laughs> HB, literally, I, can you guys see this? I'm just going to peek around the back. Oh, sure you can. I'm right on the money. Okay, so that's going to put me right here, isn't it? You, this is perfect. You guys can actually see me. So I'm learning my camera from the other side. I'm hoping to do live feed like that so everything's not mirrored. You know what I mean, friends? So anyways, it's Sunday. 36 inch handle, full on. I don't believe this is a, is a, no, I would believe this is a rehang, but it's hard to say. I, I wonder if HB sent them out like this at some point, because the handle actually, the fit is, 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 it looks like a, uh, it truly looks like an HB uh, handle, but I don't recall them ever doing this. Um, but mind you, there's a sticker on there. There was a sticker. Look, you can see it. And to be honest with you, friends, as a matter of freaking fact, I've got, yes, I do. I've got, okay, so here's an old HP with it. That's a different sticker. See that one? That one Nick found for us. That's actually a nice little axe. It's got a pin. It was that Adgore, you know, but anyhow, uh, <clears throat> Found this at the at the market this morning, friends. Yeah. You guys know me and my spoke shave. I got I got a lot of these, but a lot of them are kind of that's one of my better ones right there. Just beautiful. Um, they don't all work. They they don't all work exactly. Some are broke from the abuse, but that's actually one of my favorites. But this one, friends, I haven't looked at it really close, but this is a nice one. It is. It's a really nice one. I'm hoping it's going to pull wood. I can see it needs a little bit of attention there. But friends, how simple, how, how simple can, can a tool be? It's a piece of wood, right? With steel put in it and just, I almost like to, gosh, I love old tools. I'm going to try this. Let's, let's give it a try on this yellow stuff. Let's see if I can turn this camera down and see if I nail the, nail the, uh, the view. Sorry, friends. Let's just do this. How did that go? Did that work? Hey, I think it did, didn't it? Let's give it a shot. Oh, my dear Lord. It's set up. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's gorgeous, friends. See, this is what you want. This is how you want these things to work. So what I'll probably do. Oh, yeah, look at this. I'm going to resurrect this handle. So, so this is how I usually do. I don't sand a lot of stuff. Sometimes I will, friends. But I'll use a scraper or, or a spoke shave. This is going to be my new favorite spoke shape I can tell right now look at this friends and if you want to dig a little deeper and grab like you know a little bit of wood you're, you're you can you just lay a little down on it but friends look at this hickory look at it dear lord so friends <laughs> she works nastily back on so yeah Oh, this is actually a really nice handle. It is. I think it might be HB. It's got the look straight up and down. It's a good axe, but it could be a rehang too. It's hard to say. The axe, friends, um, has never been struck by a tool. I, I, don't, I don't see any. It's never been hit with it. The only thing that has been done is a grinder. Somebody ground the, uh, the sharpened it a little bit. Look at it, friends. Three and a half pounder. But I'll bet you, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a shot in the dark here. I'm going to take a shot in the dark. I'll bet you this is lighter than three and a half pounds. It just feels, I've got, 
I mean, if, I don't think it is. I'll bet you it's under. I got my scale right there. Let's check it out, should we? I think we should. Now I'm gonna show you something. Here's the ax, here's the hang job. It's loose, you can feel it, it's a little loose on. So what sometimes would have to happen is you'd have to, because it goes on and it's bigger at the top, right? It's smaller at the bottom, so it'll be harder to bang it out that way. In theory, it should be. It should be really hard to bang the handle out. I don't think it's gonna be here. I just don't. I think it's actually just because I can tell by the way it's sitting in there. Let's put you guys down a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. I think you guys should be okay with that. I could even take a look. Oh, sure. Bang on. Buck and starting to understand this a little better now. So let's just grab our little tool skis here. This is my favorite hammer in the world. It just is. I got a feeling this. Oh. Yeah, it's, I think it's going to rock right out of there. So far, so good. Friends, I think this is interesting. Um, I see, oh yeah, she, she's done. There it is. So, oh my. I see a bit of blue paint. The, friends, this is a super duper handle. This thing's never been... See, what could have happened, friends, is it could have been, it could have been, oh, that's a gorgeous head, HB, friends. Oh, look at that. There's some blue paint in there, friends. Interesting. Sorry. There we go. Hey, how's everybody doing today on the Sunday? You guys doing okay? Your spirits, your spirits all right? I was watching Donnie Snow's video the other day. I commented on his video. He, he's a great man, Don. Don Snow. He's honest, hardworking. He's uh, he's not afraid to to say how it is, you know. And I like guys like that. Uh, I struggle too, Don. I do, buddy. I struggle too sometimes, buddy. You know, I think um, I think men. I think we go through something, so I know I do, similar to women do in their menstrual cycle. Uh, cycle. I call it a, a menstrual cycle. And I think it comes for men every four months, three to four to five months in there. Um, as you folks know, I'm, 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 I'm up pretty, pretty good most of the time, like I'm up there. But I'll tell you something, I have my days and... I can't explain it. I, I, I don't know what it is. Maybe maybe it's things aren't exactly where I want them to be in life. Who knows? I don't dig into it. I really don't, friends. I just accept that I'm having those feelings and I just live in it. I just live in it. I'm like a dog. I'll go I'll go somewhere. So I'll go do something. I try to keep busy. Uh, but but Donna, I go through that stuff too. I think everybody does, Don. You know. So uh, you ain't no different, pal. You ain't no different. Uh, we're all like that, you know, we're men and, and, and we go through it too, buddy. Uh, so thanks for doing that video. Thanks for doing that video. That, that was, that was, uh, that was nice to see Don. You're, you're one hell of a man, Don Snow. You are. I, I love you, buddy. Uh, I do, uh, you and your brother, uh, you know, hey friends, we all come from somewheres. We all come from somewheres and I like to use this analogy. Okay. I like, I like to use I like to use this analogy of the planet Earth is a boat and we're all on the, we're all in the same boat. You know, the old saying, we're all in the same boat. It's just that we come in on different ships. You know, we all come in from a different ship and we're here on this channel and this on this boat. OK, or, or, or wherever the, the boat may be, the big boat, planet Earth. Buck and Billy Ray's YouTube channel, this community is another boat, but the ships, everybody has their own ships and it's their past. It's their journey in life until this point. We are the way we are because of our past and our, and our traveling journeys. So Don Snow has had his journey. Who knows where he's coming from? Who knows who's dealing with invisible fights and wars inside their minds who who knows the invisible fight you'll never know friends that's why I try I try to see the good as, as much as I can 
Why well, I make judgment judgments, friends. I'm a human being. I've made judgments my whole life. It's how I've survived. We judge everything. It's an instant thing that happens. It's called a judgment or an assessment of a certain situation or a certain human being. Anything. It's a freaking judgment. If you say you don't judge, I don't know which world you're in. I judge all the time. It's it's how I've lived my life. It, it's I judge. I. I trust my judgment. I trust my intuition. I judge. Yes, I do. So I don't necessarily come out and say, hey, you this and that, but I do. And I've been proven wrong, friends. I've been proven wrong. So I try to always leave it as open as possible. Who knows what that person's been through and the reason they're like that? Who knows? You sure the hell don't, and I sure the hell don't know. We don't, unless they tell us. Right? Don Snow, I love you, buddy. I do. You're a great man, and you keep doing your channel. Keep it rocking, bud. I love your raw honesty. I love it. And when you swing a mall, buddy, I could sit there and watch that all day. You are a freaking beast of a man. You are a beast. You're like the Incredibles. You're that great big Mr. Incredible guy with the big jaw. The, the you know, that type of uh, cartoon, you know, with the big, oh, Don Snow, the snowman. You are. You're Mr. Incredible. Mr. Fantastic. <laughs> Love you, buddy. Enough about Don Snow. I've tooted his horn long enough. Now, hey. Right? That's it for now. Over and out, friends. Have a great, great day.
to hey kev garbologist i'm gonna call you garbonzo garbonzo beans it might even end up beans so that's just how it goes like uh with me i hope that's okay with you garbonzo beans <laughs> Kev, you're, you're, hey, did you know something about Hey, I want to share something with you. Um, Kevin Kevin uh, gave me this head. He showed it to me at Buck and Stock. Kev's a great guy, by the way. Kev, you are. You're just, you got a great spirit, man. I, I, I knew right when I seen you, like that little kid, you got that twinkle in your eye. I love that in people. I love the spirit in, in, in people. And you, you have it, buddy. So, cool. Now, it, this is his stiletto, friends, and I give it the little buck and twist. It was black, completely black. It was, it was. I think it had paint on it. It was completely black, friends. And I, uh, I give it the, the the buck and once over, my little my little silvering technique. They just they just look way much better to me like that. They they just do. Anyhow, regardless, um, look at. Uh, I got to put this down for, for to explain this to you, Kev. You you probably know, already know this anyway. Check this out. Okay. Um, oh wait a minute. Sorry. Okay. Uh, let's get. I gotta show you that handle in a minute too. Check out this. See. See the. See the. Um, this side of the axe is about an inch longer than this. Look at. <laughs> you can really see it here. Look at friends. <laughs> this side is way longer. I've seen a ton of axes like that. I think they they sent them out like that. Like look. See. This one's like. Here, I'll stand it up and I'll just, I'll show it to you. Watch. Here we go. Perfect. Where's my little tape measure? Awesome. Here we go. Just bear with me. I'll just crack out of it. Okay, here we go. Look. Okay. From there to there is three. Let's see. Get it right in the eye. Is three and a half. It's three and a half. It says right there. Boom. Three and a half. Let's go over here. Here. I'll do it so it's, so it's the right the same way. Sorry. Okay. Look. I know I'm all over, but I'm doing this here. Okay, look. Look, you're down there. Look at it. It's four inches. It's freaking four inches, friends. So it's a half inch longer. Okay, well, you can see it by looking at it. Look at it, friends. See it short there and long there. So the, they always look a little funny on the handle, but but they're, they are what they are. You can really see it there now. Look at that. Isn't that neat? Anyways, a gorgeous head. Uh, Garbanzo, a gorgeous, gorgeous head, Garbanzo beans. Okay, now friends, once in a while you get a handle that you see in the in the in the shop, you know, in the store. This is a VB Swinger Home Hardware. When I saw it, I knew right away it was going to be an amazing handle, grain wise. Take a Ganderto Guns Bonzo beans. Look at this thing. Look at it. I just. You, it's beautiful, friends, the grain in this. When you see the grain like that, I just buy it. Because it'll be beautiful for a wall hanger or it'll be a user. Look at this, friends. I mean, come on now. Look at it. And down here, look at it. Now watch when I flip it. Look at this. Look at that. This is just really nice. Isn't it, friends? Look at that. Nice little island in the middle there and then up to the top. So... It's a 36 inch handle, so I'm gonna make a full size axe with it. Maybe like a, well, I don't know, but it, it's a dandy handle. Look at it, friends. Awesome. Anyway, let's go put that away. And I octagoned it already too. So garbanzos. Um, yeah, pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. So I'm, I'm going down to the store this week to get a double for you. My doubles don't fit these. The, the eye in this thing is massive. It's like a plum eye. They're huge. So I got a handle in mind for you down at the shop, down at the downtown store. I'll go get it this week. We're going to get on it. I love you, buddy. Take care. Talk to you soon, folks. Billy, are you coming? Did you order an axe?